check it out. Lobs it back door. Muhammad pass. in the hole. Put it oh in and a foul. My goodness. Welcome again to the Auburn Women's Basketball Review. I'm Andy Bertram with Tigers head coach Terry Williams Flanoy. Tough week for the Tigers. Uh, two top 10 opponents that remain in the top 10 in the polls after this past week. Tennessee on Thursday night at home and then at Kentucky on Sunday afternoon. Boy, a really nice crowd on hand for the Tennessee game. 3,300 on hand and, and I thought they made a difference. I thought they were a good, big, loud crowd for you on Thursday they, night. They, they were really crowd, really, really loud. And I think, what, what do we call that little section with our student section? Is that the, the jungle or what are they? Yeah, I think so. I mean, they were over there jumping up and down. <laughs> you know, it was really fun and we appreciate the fans really coming out and supporting us. Auburn in Tennessee, let's take a look at the highlights. side and banks it in. Simmons ball there deflected. Is. There's Muhammad with a steal. Down the middle of the lane with the right hand. Goes. Harrison across to Massengale. Ball deflected. There's a steal. Davis ahead or dead to Ty Tanner. Drives. Left hand. Missed it. Got it back. Back out to the top. Blanche. 4-3. Good. Yeah. The circle for Muhammad. Into the post. Peyton Davis. Turn around jumper. Off the glass and in. Rebound Tanner, the outlet Low. to Ordad. Nice Baseball pass look. ahead to Ty Tanner, and she scores. That's the first bucket of the night for Tyrese. Rebound Ordad for Auburn, Tigers the other way. The Jet across midcourt against Massengale. Pull up from 15. Oh. Good! And a foul! She <laughs> faked it in! Into the corner for Simmons. Ball deflected out to the top. And Ordad's going to win that race. She drives, shoots, scores! Seven on the night for Ordad. Here's Auburn the other way. Tyrese Tanner drives and scores with the left hand. Eight for Tyrese, and Auburn just beat Tennessee down the floor. Lobs it back door. Great Muhammad pass. in the hole. Put it in oh and a foul. My goodness. Or dead. Crossover. Underneath nice Tanner. Pass. The hole goes. To the basket. Hands to Alverson. Head fake. Lost the ball. Got it back. Good drives take. down the lane. Good with seven on the shot clock. Nice take. Lejet drives on Jones, down the lane, with the running one-hander good. Auburn the other way, Blanche, left wing, 19-footer. Good! Oh. Steal by Muhammad. Asina drives and scores. What well, buddy was that needed? I'll say. Tyrese to Blanche, turn around, fade away from 15, in and out. Good Rebound girl. Tracy up. Tanner, back up and in with the left hand. Or dad to the top for Blanche and a long three. It's good. Down to six seconds off the left side for Blanche. Off the left wing, Tanner. Free throw line, Muhammad up and missed, and the game's over. Final score tonight, Tennessee 75, Auburn 66. Tennessee, a ball club that, that we talked about as far as its speed at the guard this past uh, week. Ariel Massengale running the point, and Megan Simmons at the two, and we, we talked about how her game has elevated since she went to the two, and uh, boy, she really showed that in the second half. You know, I've played against her as the point, and she was definitely more effective at the two guard playing yeah. against her this time. And she just scores in bunches. I mean, I think the and one play when she got the steal, I think that right away just, you know, where she wasn't having that great of a night for a kid like that, that just gave her that extra push, and she just went on a roll after that. Let's take a break. We'll be back with more of the Auburn Women's Basketball Review after this. Hey, I'm Ty Tanner, and I'm a guard from Auburn's women's basketball team. Dad has Tanner ahead. Nice pass to her. Along the baseline, fade away off the glass. Got it. My favorite food is fried chicken, especially when my mom makes it. If I can play any sport other than basketball, it would be volleyball, because I played volleyball in high school. My favorite TV show is Family Guy. 
um, just because it's funny. I watch it every night from 10 to 10.30 and 10.30 11. One of my favorite hobbies is shopping because I love fashion. Yeah. If I could travel anywhere in the world, I would go to Costa Rica because I love tropical places and it's warm. Welcome back in the Auburn Women's Basketball Review with head coach Terry Williams Flanoy. Auburn followed up that Tennessee ball game going to the number five team in the country, the Kentucky Wildcats. Over 5,600 on hand in Lexington. It was a tough day against a really good ball club in Kentucky as we take a look at the highlights between Auburn and UK. <laughs> The left side for Alberson. Blanche low post for Peyton Davis. In traffic, off the glass, puts it in with seven on the shot clock. Drives to the baseline, pull up jumper from 19, missed it. Rebound Peyton Davis in the lane. She goes up from five and scores. Right wing is Muhammad. She'll drive. She shoots and scores. She got a lane to the basket, and the scene is on the board. Dribbles around two. Does Ordab pull up from about 15, and she banked it in with one on the shot clock. Underneath Clay, two capers who puts it in. The outlet, and then Clay picks her pocket, throws it underneath, wide open, Blanche up and in. Tyrese, low post for Peyton Davis, behind the defense, and she scores. Nice first offensive set for Auburn. Into the corner for Blanche in a three, missed it. Rebound weak side, Peyton Davis. Right back to Blanche, up with the left hand, and she scores. Lobs it ahead for Peyton Davis. Davis. Again, Stallworth gets bumped and puts it in with a foul on the play. She's into the lane and she lost it again. And then King took it away. Underneath for Hasina. Puts it up and in. Inbound, Stallworth tried to force it underneath the walker and turned it over. And here's Ordad the other way for Auburn. The Jet, top of the circle, Blanche. Has an open three and knocks it home. Backs it up, throws it right side. Muhammad on a curl, up from about seven, good. Lobs left wing for Alverson into the lane for Muhammad, up and good. Hasina with the bucket on the break with Hasina. Ordad leaves for Hasina who drives and scores. She gets her 11th point of the day, keeps the string alive of double digit scoring all the way back to the Ole Miss game of last year. He found Bishop, lost it, ball loose. It comes to Muhammad for Auburn. Here's Hasina the other way for Auburn. Drives with the right hand. Oh, what a nice scoop and score. And the rebound, Henderson. King takes the inbound pass, or the pass away. Out at the top, Clay. Low post, Cabriana Capers with the left hand, and she put it in. Evans drives, puts it up, missed it. And the rebound out of there to Cabriana Capers, and this one is over, thankfully. Kentucky 97, Auburn 53. It's a very, very good ball club. They're very, very deep. Uh, they're athletic and quick, and uh, they, they showed that in, in the Sunday ball game. Yeah, we saw all of that. <laughs> you know, um, just not a very good night for us, um, offensively, defensively, just, just all around a, a bad game. We didn't take care of the ball. 30 turnovers, just, just way too many for us to ever have in our, in our lifetime of playing at Auburn. Um, you know, we just did not do a very good job <laughs> playing against Kentucky. Now let's take a look at this week's top five highlights. Number five, Peyton Davis's spin move and one. Up the floor for the Tigers, lobs it ahead for Peyton Davis. Davis against Stallworth gets bumped and puts it in with a foul on the plug. Number four, Najet Ordad's drive and pull up jumper. Najet across midcourt against Massengale. Pull up from 15. Oh. Good! And a foul! She <laughs> faked it in! Number three, Najet Ordad's crossover and pass to Tyrese Tanner. Ordad, crossover, underneath, nice Tanner, go! Number two, Hasina Muhammad's 11th point versus Kentucky, marking her 21st consecutive game in double digits. Ordad leaves for Hasina, who drives and scores. She gets her 11th point of the day, keeps the string alive of double digit scoring, all the way back to the Ole Miss game of last year. And this week's number one play is Najet Ordad's lob to Hasina Muhammad. Ten dribble, lobs it back door, and Muhammad pass. in the hole, put it oh in and a foul! My goodness! This year's version of the Auburn Tigers features four freshmen. You've already signed a six for next season, so next six newcomers coming in next year. Coach 
Talk about that transition for these players. I mean, they're, they're coming in, they're, they're typically very, very successful on the high school level. Now they're making that jump to the college level. They've, they've got to get used to time away from home, managing their time and, and conditioning and that type of thing. Uh, one of the things here about Auburn, though, it, it gives them every opportunity, every advantage as they make that transition from the high school or the junior college level to the to Division I college level. Absolutely, and probably the two toughest things, Andy, is time management. You know, that's really huge, and I think our university does a very good job of getting their mentors and tutors to help, you know, them manage their time. Sometimes they feel like they have a lot of time, but once practice starts and you got to fold their classes and you got to get your – your food intake in, the next thing you know is nine o'clock at night and you still haven't studied, right. you know? So it becomes a full day and um, time management is crucial for freshmen coming in. And then making the adjustment to playing division one college basketball. Although you were, was an all American and all everything, all city, all district, whatever in high school, you are now competing against the same people, players who are just exactly like you. They were all everything in high school as well. So, you know, you really have to step up your competition. Um, you have to understand that in college, we play at a different speed, a different level. Everything's just such an adjustment for that freshman coming in. Get the advantage of a terrific academic support staff and also a great place to live. Brand new uh, dormitory for them and uh, all the amenities that uh, I doubt you had when you Boy, were Boy, it looked a whole lot better player. than that dorm that I lived in. <laughs> <laughs> Trucking down the hall with all your utensils and everything. <laughs> um, no, they, they, they've got great facilities here. And, and our student athletes, you know, are definitely well taken care of um, from the time that they go to the room to their facilities that's available to them around campus until the time they get back to their room. It's nice to go back to your own room, close your door with your own bathroom. It, it's really nice. All right, how about a day in the life of an Auburn freshman women's basketball player? Hey, I'm Shadale Clay, and welcome to my career. high school we actually went to all girls private school and we do these things called chapel talk and my friends just made me these two signs champions keep on playing until they get it right and the show goes on that was our little motto because we won state championships two years in a row so second year they're just saying the show goes on
Um, I'm Tracy Tanner. This is my room. Um, very kind of simple. Not much in here. Um, this is where I am most of the time. I don't go out that much. I'm not in the gym or in class. I'm here, so. Came, you saw, and thank you for coming to my crib. Come and see you later. All right. And we welcome you back in the Auburn Women's Basketball Review. One game for the Tigers this week, a, an off, uh, off day on Sunday. Go to Alabama Thursday night. Alabama is a very good basketball team, and it's a different team than we saw a year ago, and they're doing a lot of the same things, principle-wise, defensively, that Auburn is doing. They're, they're forcing a ton of of turnovers and it, you know, really, I think we've seen this since Texas A&M. It's gonna be two teams who are gonna see if they can outpress the opponent. And we'll see that Thursday night at Alabama. Right, not just outpress, but who can take care of the ball, you know, against that pressure defense. Alabama is really a different team than last year um, from watching them on film. Um, definitely a very good point guard um, with Simmons. And then Horn is playing extremely well for them in the post. And even though only at 6-1, she, she's very effective down low. All right, the Tigers and Alabama Thursday night. That's an 8 o'clock start on the air at uh, 7.45 with the broadcast. Then an off weekend yes. for the Tigers. Uh, talk about taking advantage of getting a couple days off on a weekend for Auburn. I, I think it comes at a good time for your ball club. It definitely comes at a good time. We've had some really tough games, some battling games. Um, uh, and right now, it's the part of the season where you got little nagging injuries, you know, that it gives us an opportunity to take, you know, two days off to, to rest them. I mean, they still got to get into the training room, and Cindy does a great job with them, keeping them healthy. So they still have to do their part there and have to do their part academically, but it just gives them a chance to mentally prepare and rest. All right, the Tigers play Thursday night. No game on Sunday, and then Auburn will be back at home on Thursday night as the Tigers play host to LSU next week. But first things first, Auburn and Alabama Thursday night. And he wish you all the best. Good luck, War Eagle. War Eagle. With Coach Terry Williams from Illinois, I'm Andy Burcham on the Auburn Women's Basketball Review.